First of all, welcome to Enigma. Uh, it's uh, really a pleasure for us to host this uh, launch event. At Enigma, we use um, all those tools because we need to understand what people we work for do. As Alexander Osvaldo is here tonight, I think it's much better that he explain the way it works in detail. Thank you very much. How you're creating value for your customers. That's why we came up with two different tools. We kind of get really deep into it and we forget that we're here to create value for customers, right? So we asked ourselves, what do we need to describe about the customer? Today, very few companies I meet can make extremely explicit how they're creating value with their products. One of the companies that adopted this on a large scale is MasterCard because they felt that they were very product and feature focused. When you sell to a customer in business to business, who's your customer? If you don't do this exercise, you're signaling that you don't give a shit about your customers. Okay, can everybody listen for just one second? So you need to put yourself into your customer's shoes. Some of you might have never seen a customer before, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it does happen, right? means that the problem actually exists. You have proof that you can show that these jobs, pains and gains exist. Kodak moment used to stand for, right? Picture, great, wonderful, capturing moment in time. Today Kodak moment stands for a company that had 140,000 employees and went out of business. A great idea, great product and, and you know, embedded in a great value proposition is not enough. You need to zoom out to figuring out the right business model which can be existing, then it might be the design constraint or you have to build it. And then you zoom in and this is a back and forth. So you put the business killers on top, you test those. And a way to figure out is the business killer is if you test this and it's proven wrong, everything else doesn't matter. So this was a very different way of working for us because um, we haven't worked like this before. So I just want you to do a last exercise, then we'll do some Q&A. How are you going to test it? What are you going to measure? And if you were right or wrong. Okay, let's go. You can do this in two, three minutes. Write a test card for the feature you came up with. Okay, for the feature you came up with. The last one is a success rate here. So we should have at least some volunteers here. Customers need to have a three to 24 months cash flow forecast. Okay, great. Okay, so excellent test. Can I give a, just ask some question to, if you already were open enough to listen first and you understand the job space against, then you're fine. Where you will test and progress and regress and progress and regress and progress until you figure it out, okay? Okay, if you don't evolve and invent yourself again, reinvent yourself, you're gonna end up and have a great Kodak moment. Thank you very much. If I'm Google, my uh, one customer segment is users, I'm not selling them search. It's the contrary. I'm, I'm selling them finding information. So in that box here, you would put find information. One sticky note. One. Because you now have a better tool to zoom into that sticky note. It's like turning it around and seeing the detail. Because the worst thing is a training company is very good at selling and then does workshops that puts everybody to sleep. What kind of logo will work? And you can test it. And what you should you put in a button on a website? Everyone talks in a room like blah, blah, blah. And you cancel that by just testing. Well, you know what? You can test a lot of things related to jobs, pains, and gains without revealing any kind of brand or any kind of product. There's a lot you can do before the legal, the legal department knocks on your door which will inevitably happen when you do this process. <laughs> Great, excellent. Well, thanks everybody and thank you very much.